So today we are doing some metal drum mixing again. And uh, this time I have found a very, very nicely recorded kit. Uh, actually, almost a little too perfect recorded. Uh, let's have a listen here. So a very, very nice tuned uh, kit and a very, very nice room. And the cool thing is that the room mics here is actually recorded from rooms uh, next to the recording room, which means that we don't have a lot of symbol in them, which is very nice. Um, this is my favorite way of doing things uh, because that means that you just get mostly the snare, which I do very much like in the room, uh, in the room mics. So this is very, very nice for me. I should say I have already chosen my uh, uh, samples, trigger samples to put in. Um, and uh, I have already also set up my mastering chain for this. Uh, that's the way that I do it. I know how I want the master to, to sound uh, because that's the sound of me. And uh, so I will mix to accommodate that master. But very quickly, we just, you know, have on the drum bus here. And this one to brighten up stuff. And then of course, a parallel with 1176 and some saturation as well. Then here is my reverb that I will be using. Uh, this is my uh, master. So usually my uh, mastering channel will have way more, but for this, I just have the two plugins I always have on, which is SSL comp with a very, very loose setting but it just works and my mastering EQ, or at least my default mastering EQ, that that might look a little bit different when when I'm done with the mastering as well. Uh, so this is what's already there. Uh, let's have at the kick. That's the in. I can also uh, hear that some levels has been set on the mics to create the sound that they really wanted. So this is most definitely out. Uh, and actually let's, so that's very low. That's, the, that's kind of the sub key, but and that has been turned down. And then we have a uh, quite clicky um, one in from inside, which is probably a 91, or at least I could imagine, but I don't really feel like I have to go in and do too much shaping here. So I'll actually just leave this alone. So the first thing I think we need to do here is that we need to beef it up, then shape it. So let's, uh, let's beef with a little bit of saturation. And I have this kick thing that I have where this is kind of my, my secret here. So it's beefing it up, but we do need a little bit of click as well. So let's just like something like this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe a little bit less, something like this. Yeah, I actually quite like that. Um, and let's go in and use one of the SSL E channels. So let's just channel out, do a little bit of compression when we need to do that. But so let's see here. Okay, let's start by grabbing some 200 and turn the slope up a little bit. Yeah, that focuses the sound a little bit more. Uh, and let's... That... That's a very, that's a very old school metal sound. 
and to be quite honest i actually just don't really like it that much so let's just let's just get like like this see how that is and maybe add a little bit of yeah let put the click up there instead so because or else the guitars uh, and the click will simply just kind of face each other out so let's not do that um and then let's get a little bit of compression as well here yeah that's pretty good it's pretty good i really love these ssl channels they not only make everything so much easier but they just sound and sounds amazing and uh but let's add some more compression and i want to use the red one let's use the red one oh let's put up slow attack and a faster release and put this up to 3.5 Just kind of focus the attack a little bit more. Um, and what else? You know what? Actually, let's see if we can punch this up a little bit more. And I did talk about the SSL, the Slate Digital SSL. Uh, and I have them all here, but let's just go with it. I've been using this saturator a little bit and it has a lot of options. But what I really just need to do is just... So the click there on the top is, it's a little much. I, uh, I will admit that and it needs to be controlled. And I could uh, probably of course go, go up here and turn it down, but let's just for the fun of it, let's just give it a little bit of a low cut here as well and then some two it's kind of this spike here that i don't like so let's just go like like 250 something like that yeah it just takes some of that deep boxiness out of it and then then let's just around 10 10 let's just that wants to be something that it's that I don't want it to be that, oh, like that. And let's just take some like 10 here out. And then let's start pulling in the trigger sample okay that's super clicky probably need to do a little bit about that so let's again start with this and probably something a little a little more around here and then pull that down quite a bit, actually. Let's do go. Just kind of mellow it out a little bit, not so it doesn't sound like an electronic clicker or an e-click or, or, or a click module. Yeah, maybe something like around here oh you know you know what we need i found this again i feel like this is a commercial for slate digital i promise you i was but this infinity base thing that has 
this thing called kick magic. Kind of just gives it a little more of a smiley and a little a little more beefy. Actually, a little bit like it's a little bit like putting a tape machine on there. Just you know, just not a tape machine. Okay, so that that is quite clicky. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, just maybe a little, a little more here. Let's let's see. Let's another. Oh, not that one. Another one here, and there is some there is some boxiness here that I would like. There, there we go. Okay, okay. So I've been pulling out some frequencies that we might need when everything is playing together. But for the sake of this, we're only doing the drums right the drums right now. So um, let's go by that, and then let's do the snare. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Um, let's start with an SSL channel. Um, so it needs more snap. Like that. Right. That's pretty good. And then probably something where like around 1.8, something like that. Maybe maybe two. And then let's just take some of the boxy, like four. that and then let's just put in some 200 a little bit and you know what actually let's also kind of just do that here Okay. That doesn't sound all that bad. And if you put a little bit of. Just a bit. Let's take that out again. We can do that in the end. Uh, and then let's do some saturation. Um. And give it a little more life up around up here. So let's. Yes. So it, it is quite bright, and you know, mostly we kind of want those thump uh, snares in modern metal. Uh, but I promise you, when we put it together with the guitars and everything else, that snap will be diminished quite a bit so you want it to really be there so it, it doesn't disappear completely yeah that's pretty good and then I have this little trick here that I usually do and it just seems to work so I'll put a SLG channel on for the only reason that the other one is an E um, and I kind of just want to take a little more out maybe some yeah And because I just took it out, I now want to add some snap into it again. So I'll just add a little bit of 200 in. Uh, this is set to uh, to be uh, in the mids, so it's not in stereo. It, it only affects the mid in the spectrum. Uh, yeah, I actually quite like that. Um, and let's start adding in the trigger. Where is... Oh, sorry. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. 
So for these one there, but as we know we get that roomy snare in here. But let's just let's just juice a little bit to this. So well my trusty Saturn 2, uh the snare here. Uh, just a little more oomph. Um, then let's do. Oh, what should we do? Maybe just this trick again here, so they kind of follow along. Maybe channel this out a little bit. Just. And just add in a little bit of, uh, you know what, let's go here again. Just add a little bit to one. So you might be asking, Tim, why aren't you, why are you not like, like comping a lot? Because I'm comping a lot on this one over here with the snare. So that's why I'm, I'm already, I'm already, I'm not, I'm, I'm not too heavy handed with, with the snare, but let's just, uh, actually, I think that will be up here and that this will be up here somewhere. So of course, when we add in other stuff, it will be much, much more, be way more, um, uh, room in it. So let's go with all the symbols and the hi-hat and all of that stuff. So, um, and you know, as a person that I once saw, just sometimes you just kind of need to just, uh, come on, uh, you just need to so just kind of close your eyes. Again, really, really beautiful recorded. Um, and let's actually, let's not mess too much with the sound there. And maybe just pick my usual, which is, I like just really like cutting er everything away that I don't need and then just push that forward. And uh, this is where the get good drums, smashing grabs com comes in. Um, I just like that. That's uh, that's really good. Let's actually just uh, for fun. Let's just remove the triggers and see how it sounds without. Okay, so the samples just adds, you know, that punchiness that we want in the modern metal drum mixing. Um, I'm actually quite happy with that. The symbols are still a little bit low, but you know, for now that's that's pretty good. Uh, and uh, you know what? Let's do the same with these. Let's just have a listen to how these actually sound. And again, remember that these uh, were recorded in rooms, uh, other rooms, or hallways 
of this studio. At least that's what the description said. So that means you don't have a lot of simple in there, which I like because those symbols can really be annoying to get uh, to get rid of, especially when it comes to metal. Like when you are in stoner and rock, where you just want everything to just be, you know, just up there all the time. It's fine, but for this, it's yeah. I uh, I'm, I'm I really I, I really enjoy that. So let's just have a listen. So the left and right. I'm mean, I'm not even sure these are left and right, but they sound so. Okay, uh, let's do this. Okay, so that's from pretty far away. Okay, uh, well, these needs to be turned up a little bit. So let's let's just go with this room setting here. Um, I think that's pretty good. Let's put them on both and uh, okay, so something is and here, same thing. Give it a uh, and I think I don't really think we need to I just think we need to kind of just embellish the the snare up here a little bit. Just control that a little bit with. Let's do the red one again. Okay, um, let's try to get that into the mix. That's a little much. These are quite low recorded. I probably should have. You know what? No, if it works, it works. And I like the sound. And the last thing is the toms. So there was something here where there was only toms in the beginning. Okay, really, really nicely tuned. 
Um, let's just do some a little bit of smash and grab on them here. Uh, let's see, I have a Tom one, if we can use that where we grab the transients. Uh, so let's just... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good so far. Maybe a little aggressive, but uh, we might be squashing the attack a little bit. But let's just kind of see. Um, and actually, let's just no, not that one. Let's just uh, go with an SSL channel again. Oh, that's the G. We want the E um, right here. a little bit of maybe actually maybe actually <sighs> I have this new plugin that I I have been using it and it's it's truly magic there's some witches sitting in here let's just see if we can if I probably need to go down a little bit like around here but let's just but there you go didn't even have to do didn't have look the silencer from black salt audio is just amazing it is just it just works i just put it to toms and then it just works uh, and then we can just spice it up a little yeah there we go um and then remember is it already panned? Oh, it needs to be panned. Awesome. And uh, do we have... Okay. So actually now it's mostly just about um, just getting the, the levels on here. So let's just have a listen. just want to try this I have this room sitting here I just kind of just want to yeah that I actually quite like
So how much snare you want in there is of course a pre that's total up to you, but let's just Yeah, I'm I'm really happy with this. Um is it to anyone's taste? Well, probably not. Sorry guys, it's just getting the weather outside is just weird and I, I don't have any lights on today because here we go. I really like this. I um, it will of course change when if you're mixing it with in a song because you would then set uh, if it is a first time you'll of course just mix it to the best of your knowledge and then turn everything else on and then you will start you know adjusting everything again uh, but again for my it's a top-down thing i kind of set my mastering how i want it to sound uh, because the, the last few things that I, I would add here doesn't really it's just a loudness and a little bit of a saturation and uh, and a tape machine that just kind of glues everything more together but that's when everything is on that this this kind of really works. Look, hey, I hope you like this. I hope you found this useful. I hope you, you can use this. Remember these, this is mixed with extremely well recorded drums um, from a very, very good, I don't even know who did it because it was just a random website that I found it on. Uh, but 